So, I see you have downloaded a certain program for doing weird things with your PC, yes? Well, how do you use it? You can try and do things immediately, but is that a good plan? No, because there's a lot of things to find. And how do we keep track? Well, that's simple. We simply keep a list. Ha <laughs> ha. And then, how do we make a list? Well, I'm glad you asked, because that's what we're going to show you right here and right now. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's not bother ourselves with this. So then, first things first. Imagine you have more than a single mouse device. How unfortunate. Which one's the right one? Well, we can try it out and find out that, uh, yep, this is the right one. So we press enter, and then we press tab once, enter, enter, enter. Ta-da! It's back to working again. <coughs> Applause. Please clap. All right, then. So we figured out, this is our mouse, our stupid M2K in this instance. What do we do now, Einstein? Well, we go here and sort by devices by connection. And don't click off by accident, because this mouse is very sensitive. All right, then. Something about keeping a list, eh? Yes. We open up this device and we look at its physical device object name. <gasps> what a mouthful. But then we have the problem. Okay, so what now? We have something to identify it by, but we don't have a system yet, do we now? That's no good. Let's make a system, and let's close some noise we don't need. Alright then, so, we have our mouse, we have it open. So, we know its number. Now we just need to make some room. And write out how they are connected. Because we're viewing things by connection, haha, -ha, get it. You can wait. But there's a trap in here, because, as I can tell you by power of foresight, this has a different name. As you can see here, it's not called that, it's called USB XHCI compliant host controller and its physical device object name is PCI 0006. Very important. Then we walk down see that this one is called the same so let's just find its physical device object name and write it down USB PDO 0 then 
we go to the USB input device connected to our mouse. It's still called USB input device. And its object name is USB PDO4. And so now we have a list of physical device object names that we can refer to in our chain of connections. Oh, and if you're extra paranoid, you can turn off the power management for all these things. Whether it has a significant impact, I couldn't tell you. But if you have the big paranoia, you can do it. Doesn't cost you anything, does it now? <laughs> You shouldn't go this far up in the system, though. That's a bad idea, I think. I haven't tried it, but <laughs> you're welcome to nuke your system at your own pleasure. So then, there are some fancy schmancy ways of figuring out which core would be best for the task, but I'm incredibly lazy and just pick them at random and see if they work. <laughs> what can I say? I shall assign core 5 to this task in this instance. Alright then. Let's get started, shall we? Because we're looking for these things now. So let's start with USB input device 57. Nope, none of our concern. USB PD01. Close, but no cigar. It's pitching at randomly. Ignore that, it's just an old program. Hey, look at that. PCI 006. Exactly what we're looking for. Let's set Core 5 to do this task. Yada yada. Do you wish to restart the device now? Don't do that right now. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Nope. Not this one, or this one, or this one. I'm pressing U in case you're curious. For USB. Ooh. Nope. Still not it. Aha. Uh -huh. Nope. U. U. What the? This one's wrong. Wonder who, when that was set. Whoops. Actually, this is an older system, so some of them may have been set to something else. Ah, yes, of course. I've set three fucking values for a USB, but the final one is HID compliant mouse. Oopsie. There it is. Right here. Ta da! We can restart this one just for fun, but it's not going to be much fun because it works immediately because this is an M2K. And once we've done this, we simply reboot our system to make it apply our changes and hopefully work better. Now, if you want to be a nerd, you can also do the same for your GPU. In fact, since it takes such an agonizingly long time to do this. Let's just do it now. Da -da 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 -da. Actually, I don't even need to find the device name for this one. It's immediately obvious. However, the PCI to PCI bridge is a little more mysterious.
And which one's this one connected to? Yep, just the same old thing. That I don't feel like touching. Because it's spooky. Spooky scare. PCI 0018. Yes, yes, I will let you in soon enough. Cat. Fuck off. Just for funsies, let's make this one four three. Pardon me. Bloop. This is a funny system, I know. Core three. No, let's not restart this device and let's stop bitching, alright? PCI to PCI bridge, yes sir. -y. Let's find another one. 11? Nope. 14? Nope. It's not what I'm looking for. Aha! Ta-da! Alright then, then I reboot my system and it fucking explodes, yes, indeed. Then it should work properly and you have a good day now. Bye bye